What's going on everybody? This is Connor or Indentation here and you may be wondering what exactly the title of this video means. Uh, Team Burger Town, what is that? Uh, I'm going to get to that right now. Uh, as you all know, there's a little spot down at the es bottom of the escalator here called Burger Town and it, some people camp there. If you've played Infection, you'll know that that's where a lot of people go. I'm getting into it right now. This is Burger Town right here. But I had this idea, and I'm thinking of starting a series on my channel where our whole team runs to a specific area of the map, kind of like a smaller, more closed-in place, I guess, and we can only get kills from that area. So if we die, we have to just book it back to there as fast as we can. Um... And Burger Town on Arkenden was the first thing that came to mind for me. So what we're doing, and it looks looks like we're all in here right now. Uh, I'm running Riot Shield. It's on my back right now. You probably saw it right away. And the L86. And on my L86, I have Rapid Fire Extended Mags, which I wouldn't exactly suggest <laughs> as something to put on it because if you're spraying with it, holding down the trigger a lot it's kind of uncontrollable you might see me in a little while um if i just hold down the trigger i'm gonna be getting hit markers like, like a solid like inch or half an inch to an inch on my screen lower than where the sights bounce up to so <laughs> it definitely kicks really hardcore but well, another thing i was thinking about this is i could just lay down cover fire with this gun and help some of my teammates maybe get back into Burger Town. Um, most of us are running tack insert too for that same reason because we can only get kills in here. But we had a couple people run trophy systems to help us out, so they would have to run back every time they die. We kind of it took us a couple gameplays to get this. Uh, it kind of depends on who you're playing, honestly, how smart they are, and how easily they figure yeah how they figure out blah, sorry how they counter what you're doing and as you'll see in a while I'm kind of watching the escalator that was more my job right away but over to the right here it kind of you know or B is in domination kind of opens up out there in the courtyard they would snipe from out there so we had at least one guy running a snipe rifle I know for a fact so we were trying to counter snipe them, and I would just spray down there a whole big chunk of the time to try and take them out. And, yeah, so that's kind of the basic idea. You'll see how we do. It's it's pretty much close the whole time. But I want to know what you guys think of the idea of a series for this. I tried trapping this guy in the corner, but I, <laughs> I failed. I should have crouched and looked up. I don't know what I was doing. But uh, what, what do you think of the series? We've done a couple more that I have ready, uh, like Team Hallway on Lockdown, Team Bunker on Outpost. If you can come up with more, definitely leave a comment. This doesn't have to stay in MW3 either. This could go to Black Ops. This could go to, like, Halo, you know, something like that. It just kind of depends on what you guys want to see. I mean, I'm down for whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, they eventually got kind of smart shooting rockets in here too, so that, that was... A big reason behind the motion sensors and I personally was running specialists to get a couple more uh, perks but we I think most people were running uh, support or at least half the people because you'll see us pick up ballistic vest quite a bit and this was a lot harder than you would think I mean the first time we tried it it was successful that was a while ago, but I didn't record live, and it wasn't in theater mode. And then it definitely took us a few tries again. So it, it wasn't quite as easy as we thought. And now, now you can see those snipers are doing work a little bit more. I was getting sniped multiple times. I forgot to lay up my tack there, which, you know, wasn't so good. Um, and then I come over here. Pretty sure I start trolling these snipers here. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to distract them, because I can't kill anyone when, I, when I'm out here, but uh, I can definitely distract them enough to get back, and 
hopefully get some of my friends back. Yeah, but not going to lie, we have to play some fairly bad people to even accomplish this because any good player is going to be able to take us out. Another nice thing about this spot, too, is see they're calling it a Pred. They could not kill us with kill streaks. <laughs> we were pretty much protected down here. I mean, there's some exceptions to that, but the main thing is like Pred and Helicopter weren't going to work. And I don't, maybe you can see that there. I don't know if I was getting hit markers like way below where I was aiming, but generally that's kind of how it worked. <laughs> I was just spraying the crap out of there. And in a little bit, a guy actually gets into Burger Town next to us. And I was kind of surprised by that. I'm going to try and watch and see how he got in here. Because I, I don't really remember. And it was kind of surprising to us because he kind of just hopped in. We looked over all of a sudden and there was a guy, <laughs> a guy just chilling right by us. So I'm going to be watching out for that. I don't, I don't remember exactly where it was. And... Yeah, this is definitely one of the longer TDM matches I've played. This took us pretty much the whole allotted time. And it, it was a battle for the whole thing. So thanks to the guys that were helping me out, wasn't the easiest thing. And that was a really good idea. We had a couple guys out that jumped out and tried distracting them. Uh, I think our trophy systems were gone by that point. Um... I don't know, if, if you have any other ideas that branch off of this, too, any other things, ways we can troll people, uh, mess around, any funny type 6 games you want us to see, let me know, too, that I'm down for whatever. And I, I don't understand the recon drone. I mean, maybe they were, there's the guy in there, too. Maybe they were just running recon drone already, but they kind of knew where we were going to be. So it doesn't really matter that I was tagged by recon drone, because I'm still going to be in the corner. Uh, luckily, one of us had C4. Otherwise, I I don't see how we would have killed that riot shield guy. He was just kind of chilling there. Uh, I got lucky quite a few times with my gun. <laughs> I wasn't. I was not very accurate by any means. I, I honestly probably brought down my accuracy by like a percent this game. And yeah, you, you can just see it. It kicks like none other. Um, the L86 though is actually a really good gun. I would definitely recommend it. You can't really like try hard rush run around with it, but if you put on grip suppressor with attachments, it definitely turns into a really good gun. It's it's very powerful. You can kill people quickly with it. And that's about all I have. Ten minute commentaries are a little hard to talk about stuff for the whole time, so I'll let you finish it out as I'm grabbing my ballistic vest again. Definitely let me know what you think of this idea. I'm probably going to make this into a series, a weekly series. It doesn't just have to revolve around this original idea. It could just be like a something out of the ordinary every week, I guess. Just a different style of gameplay. Just as long as it's not regular, serious gameplay. Going hard for lots of kills. Something like that. So let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys later.